In the latest update of Autodesk Recap Pro 2024, Autodesk has given us the ability to classify our point clouds in standard ASPRS classifications. We also includes an automated tool for extracting ground data. We'll show you these tools and how to classify these points manually and export them out for use in products like Autodesk Civil 3D, Revit, InfraWorks, and other Autodesk products. Stay tuned and we'll show you how. The first step in processing your recap point cloud is to process the ground details using the automatic ground classification tool. When you start the tool by choosing this icon, you can select the option on how you'd like it to process, providing less optimal or more detail to your ground. Under the custom settings, you can independently set the ground detail size as well as the processing window size. The processing window size should be a little bit larger than the diagonal of the largest building on your site. When ready, start processing and wait for it to finish. After the automatic ground classification tool is complete, we can visualize the results by changing the display settings to show classification. We can also turn on lighting sides to see more detail and shadows. At this point, we can also turn on and off the different types of classification displays by going to our project navigator, scanning down until we see classifications. We can then visualize, turn on and off, lock or change the colors of the various classifications as we like and see fit. At this point, I'm going to classify the remainder of the point cloud. So I'll turn off the ground classification so I only see the remainder of the points. I'll then utilize tools within Recap, like the Limit Box and the Window and Fence Selection tools to select and classify my points. Now that the ground classification points have been turned off, I'm going to continue classifying the remainder of the points as shown. I'm going to start with the buildings. In order to help me pick the building points a little easier, I'm going to isolate them using the Limit Box tool. I'll highlight the limit box tool at the bottom and I'll choose pick and then pick a point on the building I want to isolate, for example, this house. It starts drawing a limit box around the house and then I can use the sides to drag out the points until I've isolated the building from the remainder of the points around it. If I need to change the rotational angle of the cube, I can hit the control key on the keyboard, select a edge of the box and cube and isolate it and turn it appropriately. I'm going to move the box until I only see the points that I want. I hit confirm and I have essentially isolated the building. I have a few other points, but I can easily get around them. I'll zoom in with my mouse. I'll choose the window select tool to select all the points of the house at this point. With that, I will choose and click the classification tool at the bottom and choose one of the standard ASPRS classifications, in this case, number six building. When I assign these points to the building, they will highlight yellow to tell me that they have been added to that classification. I will now clear my selection and reset my limit box. I'll continue doing this for the rest of the site, continuing to classify the buildings. Now that I've manually applied the building classification to the building objects in my point cloud, I'll go to my project navigator, find that building classification under the classification section, and hide those points. I'll then continue classifying the remainder of the points as needed. For I've now completed classification of my point cloud and turned on all of the different classifications in my project navigator. I can now use my project navigator to turn on and off different classes as I need to for any analysis that I need to do. I can also use these classifications to isolate and export out portions of my point cloud for use in things like Civil 3D, Revit, or InfraWorks. All I do is turn off the classifications I no longer need. I'll also make sure I turn off any of the unclassified points. In this case, I'm going to isolate my ground points. I can then export out what I see. Autodesk Recap is very what you see is what you get. So if I go to my home menu, use the Export and Unify tool, I can now save this out as a site using the ground classification. So I'll call this Subdivision Ground. I'll say Save. 
unify my scan, and I will get a brand new recap project that's only the ground classification points. And as you see, I've attached that ground classified point cloud inside Simple 3D. Selecting it, I can even change the classification to show that similar to the way it was in recap. One final note, there is one final tool that I'd like to show you in this video in Autodesk Recap, and that is the Decimate Ground Point tool. From the Home tab, I'll choose Decimate Points. I'll select the source classification, in this case ground, and I will choose a target classification. And I'll use class 30, it's just reserved, and I can use this to lighten my point cloud, make a decimated point cloud, export it, and then import that into Civil 3D to make a lighter weight tin file. In this case, I can choose the percentage of points that I want to export, or by a proximate number of points. It'll count the whole number of points in the point cloud, and then I can type in the number that I want. So maybe I only want 50,000 points out of the 200, uh, 24 million points. I choose decimate. It's going to go through, run that, and add that to that classification. As soon as it's finished, I can go ahead and turn on that classification. I'll turn off my ground, and I'll turn on that uh, layer 30. And you can see the decimated point clouds. And that does it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please visit and subscribe to our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog for more Autodesk news, tips, and tricks. You may email me with questions at mshinesk at silersolutions.com or you may contact us at cadtechnical at silerins.com. Thank you and have a great day.